The Avalanche of Cash is at the Crump Nugget every Monday and Tuesday in January from 2 to 4 p.m. One lucky winner will be chosen every 30 minutes. The $53,000 Cruising Cash Giveaway is here Friday 6 to 9 p.m. Win $200 every half hour. Saturday from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Get another chance to win $200 every half hour. One lucky cruise winner will be chosen at 9 p.m. Football Super Sunday. Join us February 3rd at the Nugget Event Center. Doors open 90 minutes before the game with stadium buffet and drink specials. Limited seating available. Buy your tickets now through February 2nd. Tickets are $25 per person. Come get your game on at the Crump Nugget Hotel and Casino. At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of health care to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. News 46 is brought to you by Healthcare Partners. News is also brought to you by Comfort Hospice Care, where we give our patients and their loved ones peace of mind, knowing we provide the highest quality of care 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. For more information, call 775-751-0349. News is also brought to you by Hope Cancer Care of Nevada, providing quality cancer care in a spa-like setting. We are Pahrump's only chemotherapy center. Call 1-800-881-4226. News is also brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Tonight on News 46, the RNDC helps winterize your home. Teens are invited for free pizza and video games. State of the state in your news across Nevada. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46. With Doug Brindle and Monique Mitchell. Local coverage from Deanna O'Donnell. News 46. Local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Thursday, January 17th, 2013. I'm Doug Brendel. And I'm Monique Mitchell for News 46. The death rate from cancer in the United States has dropped dramatically in the last two decades, according to a new report from the American Cancer Society. American cancer death rates have risen consistently since the 1900s. They peaked in 1991 at 215 deaths per 100,000 in the population. The 2009 death rate, which just became available, is 173 per 100,000. That's a 20% decline in cancer death rates from 1991. The report also includes grim news. The American Cancer Society es estimates 1.6 million Americans will be diagnosed with cancer and more than 580,000 will die of cancer in 2013. As has been the case for decades, only cardiovascular disease will kill more Americans. The Nevada Highway Patrol says the freezing fog that blanketed the Reno Sparks area earlier today contributed to more than a dozen traffic accidents during the morning commute, including one involving one of their own patrol cars. NHP responded to 14 crashes between 7.15 and 9.30 a.m., including three with injuries. The widow of a U.S. Navy veteran killed in the shooting rampage at an Aurora, Colorado movie theater has sued a psychiatrist who treated accused gunman James Holmes, saying he should have been held in a mental health facility to protect the public. The lawsuit filed in Denver on Monday is the first shooting-related suit against psychiatrist Dr. Lynn Fenton and her employer, the University of Colorado at Denver. Apparently, Dr. Fenton rejected a law enforcement offer to involuntarily confine Holmes for 72 hours after he told her six weeks before the shooting that he fantasized about killing, quote unquote, a lot of people. Fenton's attorney declined to comment on the lawsuit. Alan Parker from Rural Nevada Development Corporation talks about government programs that can help, you, that can help your home become more energy efficient. 
We do a number of things. We have a number of different programs. We are a nonprofit here in the state. We operate in all of the rural areas. We have housing programs. We do business counseling, and we do business lending. Let's talk about the housing programs you guys offer. Okay. That's probably the biggest area uh, in our company. We have about five different programs under that. Uh, some of the more well-known ones are weatherization and rehabilitation for homeowners. Uh, weatherization, you know, covers things like heating and air conditioning, roofing and insulation. It's for low to moderate income people who have to qualify with for your application. And we have a similar program for homeowners uh, rehabilitation, which takes in other areas of, of a homeowner's needs in that regard. Again, that's also income dependent and eligible for it. What's rehabilitation mean? Rehabilitation basically, you know, covers <clears throat> areas of a home that would need work. It could be walls, it could be the outside, it could be the inside, it could be um, a ramp or uh, an easement into the house or something of that nature for it, uh, but structural things in nature. How is the RNDC funded for these programs? RNDC is a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. Uh, we get funded through federal and state agencies. We get uh, funding for this from various program areas, some from the, the housing authority, some comes from USDA Rural Development, uh, some comes through uh, Small Business Administration, a number of different arenas. How can a person apply and get to these applications that you're talking about for the housing programs? It's very easy uh, if they have a computer. They can go onto their computer and log onto our website. Our website is www.rndcnv.org. On that home page on the left-hand side, you'll see links to all of our programs. If it's weatherization, click on that link. If it's uh, rehabilitation, click on that link. It will take you to the appropriate page. And on that page, we'll give you more information about the program. And in fact, we'll even give you an application that you could download and print out and submit. If they don't have a computer? They do not have a computer. Uh, and if they're local here in RNDC, they can stop by my office. Uh, I'm located on the second floor of the Nevada State Bank building at 1301 South Highway 160. Uh, or they can call me at my number, which is 751-1947, and I can mail them an application. More local news coming your way right after the break. Don't go anywhere. This portion of the news is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, a rumps optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Welcome back. Either on TV, online, or on the radio, it's hard to miss those deals for low, low prices on carpet cleaning. But how many of them are too low to be true? In today's Angie's List report, we've got the dirt on how to get your carpets professionally cleaned without putting a huge stain on your budget. There's no doubt that Wendy Zeller loves her dog, but what she doesn't love are the tracks her dog Joey's behind. So when she saw an online professional carpet cleaning deal, she didn't think twice about buying it. Good price. I needed the bedrooms done and it was for four rooms. So I just bought it. It was exactly the deal Wendy needed. That is until the cleaner showed up at her door. It was awful. It was awful. Um, you know, he had told me that because my carpets were so dirty, they needed to do a deep cleaning and that would be extra. And I said, well, you know, I questioned whether that was included in the cleaning. I said, normally I thought a cleaning was a deep cleaning. And he said, no, they'd have to do that, and that would be extra. And I, I just said, well, I think, you know, just go ahead and do a regular cleaning. To avoid those added extras, consumer experts recommend homeowners insist on a written, detailed estimate on what the company will do for the advertised price. And never be shy about sharing your own family's details. Once you find your carpet cleaner, it's important to share details about your lifestyle with them. Do you have pets? Do you have kids? Do you have special areas that need treatment because there's been spills? The more information you give them, the more prepared they can come to do the actual project in case they need special cleaners for some difficult spots. Chris Stone has been cleaning carpets professionally for over seven years. He suggests homeowners do a little work to save a little dough. You want to try to move as much as possible um, that the areas that you want cleaned. Um, any couches or sofas, little magazines, everything that you can do 
to help it move faster when they come to clean your carpets. The, the time that we save from you moving those things, we actually pass those savings on to you after the end of the job. So if a job is supposed to take about two hours and say it only took an hour and a half because of the homeowner's help of having things already prearranged, that extra savings of time, we actually just give those savings right back to you. As always, it's important to do your homework on a company you're thinking about hiring. There are online review sites you can check to see what other people, what experiences that they've had. And also, a good company will return to clean any spots that reappear within a short amount of time. This is Ian B. Clark for News 46. Pauline Phillips, better known to millions of newspaper readers for decades as the Dear Abby advice columnist, has died after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease. She died Wednesday in Minneapolis, Minnesota at age 94. Phillips wrote under the pen name of Abigail Van Buren, shortened to Dear Abby in newspapers. The first Dear Abby column appeared in 1956, and Phillips continued writing the advice feature until 2000. Lloyd Platten invites teens to St. Martin's in the Desert Episcopal Church's monthly teen night. We've been having a close to about 80 kids show up uh, for, those, for the teen nights. And again, that's part of that outreach fund that we do. And one of our goals as a church is to be active in the community, support the community needs. And so we have a lot of the youth that come to the teen nights uh, that may not have other activities to do. We provide, uh, you know, the pizza, the, the uh, drinks, uh, board games. Uh, we have a Wii tournament, uh, which they can win prizes. And uh, then we do karaoke. And people are really happy that I never sing, so. <laughs> and that's held at Night Community Coalition. When's the next one of those? Uh, it's always, the, the teen nights are always the first Friday of every month. And we do that in, in partnership with the Nye Communities Coalition. And that's all inclusive as far as uh, uh, teens throughout the town. You don't have to be a member of the church to go? Actually, we, uh, we typically don't have, we don't have a lot of youth in our church. Uh, so most of the people that show up are, in fact, uh, youth from the community itself. So, uh, again, we're happy to be able to do that. For more information on that, is there a number to call? Uh, sure, they can call either the coalition's number, which is 727-9970, uh, or they can call 537-1115, um, which is our church phone. All right, folks, we'll keep it here because we'll have your news across Nevada after this break.